What's up everyone, I'm out at Hot Rod and you may have heard of them before, but I won't get into all the details. I'll let them explain it. So first up we have Bernard, how you doing man? Hey man, welcome. Good to see you again, good, good to see, see you again. So let's, let's jump right into it. Talk to me about Hot Rod. My role at Hot Rod is manager. We've been around since 1995. Started off as original core skate shop. The skate industry kind of went up through some ups and downs, so we kind of went into a different direction, focused more on sneakers, men's apparel. Gone through some changes, but over 17 years in the game, we're doing it right and we're, we're keeping it strong. So, uh, what's special about Hot Rod as opposed to other like sneaker skate shops in the area? It's that shop that that you discover for the first time, but it's been here forever. Um, I like to think of it as Los Angeles' best kept secret. Um, you know, we have customers that we've seen buy their first pair of skate shoes here that are now, you know, graduating from college. It's a tradition that a lot of shops, they just can't buy. They pop up on Fairfax or La Brea and, you know, they have a few years of longevity, but at Hot Rod, we've been doing it, you know, we're coming up, you know, a couple years, it's gonna be 20 years. That's that's pretty amazing. So you guys do primarily skate shoes. Is there is there a reason behind that that you went with primarily like skate shoe? Well, we're we're one of the first accounts in Los Angeles for the Nike SB, you know. But we also we go in other directions too with Vans and John Barbados, Converse, Converse Skate, you know. So we you know we kind of just run the run the gamut. We don't want to be pigeonholed as a sneaker shoe store. Right. People want sneakers, whether they're Jordans, whether they're Vans Vault, whether they're and you know Nike right. skateboarding, whatever it is, you know people just love shoes. Right. What would you say is the biggest difference design-wise between skate shoes when you guys first started out? You said in '95, you mm -hmm. first started out in '95, and today's skate shoes. <laughs> Thank God the skate shoe market has changed. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit more low-profile skaters like the freedom and the mobility of a, of a thinner, lower profile shoe. But the mindset back then was essentially having a pillow on your foot. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I'm very happy to say, and this is coming from a guy whose style pretty much hasn't changed since his 20s, that I'm, I was happy to see that that trend kind of disappeared. What, so with, with HR Life, what else does HR Life have going on besides the shoes? I know you guys also do other brands and stuff. Like what are some of the other brands and stuff that you guys um, do? Well, we got, uh, we're going to be carrying Alcapulco Gold, mm -hmm. which we're excited about. Um, Staple, Jeff Staple's new line is amazing. So look for that in the next uh, couple weeks. Um, you know, Stussy's an old dog like us. So, you know, we love having Stussy. Um, love supporting the hundreds there, you know, a Los Angeles company, you know, we try to keep it in LA the most, you know, as, as much as we can. So, um, you know, those are just some of the few offerings and we always, we always got new stuff coming in. So now a lot of people may not know this, but you guys have some like television history, some connections to TV, to the TV world. Like what's, <laughs> what's, what's all, what's all that about? Um, well, there was a shoe in 2011 that, uh, you know, uh, we, we had a little bit of a part in um, the uh, infamous entourage dunk low, which I like to refer to as the non-tourage, because at the end of the day, it didn't happen. Um, I, Doug Allen, uh, creator and executive producer of entourage, always bought dunks here, um, whether he came in person or sent one of his people over. So he always wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I put him in touch with uh, Nike SB um, and something, you know, blossomed and it was a great idea and a great concept. And I, I really can't get too much into it, right. but, you know, we all know that it, that it didn't come off the way it was supposed to. And, um, you know, we, a great shoe came out, but it wasn't, it wasn't to what it was supposed to be. Any, any last words for Hot Rod Life for the, our readers or to let them know what you guys have going on or anything else? Yeah, just, um, you know, be on the lookout and always, always check us out. We're always going through transitions. We're always making things uh, work along the way. So, you know, there's great things coming. Just, you know, make sure you come down and check us out. We got our, uh, we got our blog and website, hrlife.com, uh, YouTube channel, um, Instagram, Facebook. You know, we're all over the place. We're trying to, uh, we're trying to keep it down here on the west side, keep, uh, 
keep it going. So, you know, we'd love to see you come down, have a cup of coffee with us. You know, we like to think of Hot Rod as the Gentleman Sneaker Club. Dad, you have nice kids.